guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If it's your first time here, my name is Lisa and I make all different type of lifestyle videos. As you can tell by the title, today's video is gonna be my long awaited apartment tour. So for those of you who don't know, I recently moved into a brand new apartment. This place is brand new, like it was just built and I am the very first person to move in and live here. I also live with my sister who is my roommate and we are super excited about it. So I don't know if you can get a glimpse of the background, but overall the place is more modern. I would say it's definitely very neutral colored and neutral toned and we kept it pretty like minimal. I'd say it's a kind of like a minimalistic vibe. All right, so I'm just gonna jump right in and get started. All right, so as soon as you first walk into the apartment, you're actually kind of stepping right into the main um, area. It's really nice and open here. So directly to the left when you walk in is the kitchen, which I will get into. But right when you walk into the right, we just have this really nice, huge double door closet. One of the things I really like about this place is first of all, like the color scheme. So as you can tell, the walls are kind of like a gray or a beige. It kind of depends on like the time of day in the sunlight. And then we have nice big wooden, like dark wooden doors. Inside here, I mean, it's not very organized. We just have like all of our cleaning supplies here, our vacuum, and then our steam mop. So pretty much this is just like basic storage with all of our cleaning supplies we share. As you can tell, the flooring here is also hardwood. I like that it's a dark wood and I just like that look. And then when you walk over here, we have two doors. So this one here leads to the laundry room. One of the things we really, really wanted was to make sure that we had our own washer and dryer in unit so we didn't have to leave to do any of that. So we have these nice Whirlpool washer and dryer side by side here. Um, we just keep our laundry in the bins here. All of our detergent is up here. We also bought this drying rack that we store in here. And then in this room is also just like the water heater furnace and all of that. Then coming back out of the laundry room, this other room here is our first bathroom in the place. So we have two bathrooms. This one is kind of the one that I guess you would say is in the front of the place where like technically anyone would use. But since it's just my sister and I, we each have our own bathroom. So this one here is my sister's bathroom. She's got a nice big mirror. One of the things I really like about this place is the light fixtures. I think they're really cute. She has her own little setup here. Obviously not gonna get too much into this just because this is her own setup, so I'm not gonna go in her drawers or anything. And then this is her little shower curtain and setup. Okay, and then moving on to one of our favorite things about this place, which is the kitchen. So as you can tell, it's just super white and bright and clean looking, which is something we really liked. We also really like the um, light fixture here. I really love the detail of that. I really like the aesthetic of it. And then the fact that it had this island. So first of all, don't mind, we have some dishes in there. <laughs> but we really like the central island. It's just super cute. And also this is what we use as like our dining table instead of actually buying one since it's just the two of us. So these bar stools I actually got at Walmart. I'll be sure to link everything down below that you guys might be interested in. These I think are super cute just because I think the gray and white goes perfect with the place. And I also really liked the studded um, detailing on the side. Then here is the rest of our island. Obviously, it's just like the sink here. And then on this side, we have the dishwasher and then this um, rug I got from Target. Another thing I got from Target was actually this soap dispenser. This was only like $5 and it's actual glass. And I got it in like the dollar section and I thought the gray would go well with this place as well. So that's that. And then looking over on this side, we have an extra bar stool. This is a wine cooler, but it's empty because we don't really keep anything in there. Here on top of the counters, we just try to keep it like simple. Paper towels, candle, or like a wax burner. It smells really nice. And then a little candy dish and a couple other little decor pieces. The place has a lot of storage down here and then also up here as well. Then over here we have our gas stove. Definitely glad we got gas just because I feel like it does cook things better than an electric stove. And then over here in the corner of the place is where we keep all of our fresh fruits. We have some bread out and then a couple of other random things, a little bit of a brownie. And then 
the Nutribullet. So this is our blender. I highly, highly recommend this blender. It's actually really, really good. And it's not super pricey like some other um, blenders I was looking at, but it actually really works well. And then we just keep it pretty open over here with our toaster. So that's just like a nice overview of the kitchen. I really, really like our kitchen. As you can tell, we don't even have a coffee maker, which you're probably wondering where that is, but actually neither of us drink coffee, which I know is crazy. And then we also have our fridge here. I think it's just like a pretty standard fridge. The double doors open to the fridge part here. And then the freezer just pulls out at the bottom. So here is just an overview of that entrance we just went through with the kitchen overall. And then if you look over on the other side here, so there's one door over here. This leads to my sister's bedroom, so we're not gonna go in there. But then if you face straight ahead here is our little living room. And I like our little living room. It's super simple and cute. So as you can tell right here, it looks like a huge window, but this is actually a balcony. So here's our door to the balcony. And then what's really cool is that these blinds or shades actually just roll on this track. So that's really nice. We definitely like how that looks. So then on this half of the place against this wall, this door leads to my bedroom, which we'll go in soon. Then we have this cute, simple little um, setup. So this couch here is from Amazon. It's actually only $200. We really like the aesthetic and the look of it and thought it just looked very sleek and modern. And I will say we both really like how it looks. Like it's super cute in here and it matches everything perfectly. But honestly, it is not the most comfortable couch. So if you're looking for something it's super cozy and you plan to just like watch a ton of movies and have a lot of movie nights on the couch, maybe I wouldn't recommend this for you. But for us, like we just we didn't need anything really expensive for this place and honestly we don't have a lot of time to be sitting around watching tv so this was perfect for us just having it be like very affordable and looking very nice it's also it doubles as a futon if that's something you also need but it was super easy to assemble. We assembled everything in here on our own. And then here, our coffee table. This was super affordable. We got this from Walmart. The fuzzy rug below it is from Target. That was probably about $50. I feel like just having a fuzzy carpet made the place to look a little bit more cozy rather than having it be completely wood. On the table, we just have our remote. And then this candle my friend got me. It smells really nice. And again, I just like how the white and wood kind of matches the theme of the place in the corner here we have this tall lamp this lamp i got from target i think it was only like ten dollars and also i just like how it's black to add a little bit of definition to the place to match this basket so this basket we also got from target it was only 13 dollars, and i like how it kind of has that like um woven appearance to it and then we just have that filled with a bunch of blankets Okay, then looking from the opposite view, so with me standing right by the couch, right across from here, like I said, that leads into my sister's bedroom, and then on this wall, it's super simple again. First of all, we have a plant down there. The only thing I would say is that I think we need to add a plant stand for it, so if there's anything I'm gonna change, I'm gonna add a stand in this corner. But then right over here, again, it's just super simple. We have our cute little TV. Like I said, we don't watch a ton of TV, so we didn't need anything crazy. And then I feel like we got the perfect TV stand. So this one was only $15 on sale at Ikea. It's the perfect little stand. Super easy to assemble again. Um, it's just simple. Okay, now heading over to my room. So once again, it's actually pretty minimalistic. But as soon as you walk into the right here, I have my desk set up. I really, really like this desk. It's just super clean and white looking once again. Probably notice a theme here. <laughs> And then again, I keep it pretty um, simple on top here. So I have this cute little decor. It says, wish less, work more. I'll see if I can find something similar to this to link, but I got this at a store. I also have just a little lotion here with a little lucky charm my sister got me. 
Um, then on this side, I have my laptop. So I have the MacBook Pro and I keep my laptop here on this stand. Um, I actually talked about this stand and quite a few other products you're gonna see in my room in my Amazon favorites video. So I'm actually gonna link that down below and tag it in the corner here. Make sure you check that out if you haven't. I have this mouse that I really love. I love how it's golden white. I actually have this in my Amazon favorites, like a lot of these products I have in previous videos. But this here doubles as, first of all, a clock, and then also as a timer. So let's say I wanna just try and keep myself focused, and I wanna finish something in five minutes. You flip it over and it starts a countdown, so that's very convenient. I also have this fake plant here just to give the place a little bit of a green pop of color, and then I keep my planner and there's my phone. This chair, I love this chair. I got it on Amazon. I'll link it down below. It's super comfortable, and again, I love how it is white. Then in this corner, I have a mirror. This mirror I got from Target. So this is like one of those really affordable like five or $10 mirrors, and it's just very simple. I keep my charger here. It's 10 feet, which is super nice because leaving it there, it can reach me while I'm working at my desk or it also reaches my bed, which is uh, right across from it here. So over here by my bed, my nightstand, actually I forgot to mention, the desk is from Ikea, which I will link, and then the nightstand here is also from Ikea. I have my cute little vision board up here. This is my white noise machine. I'm gonna make an entire video about this little product, and I also mentioned it in my Amazon favorites. And then I just keep a few things by my bed, so like chapstick, lotion, eye drops, an earplug, and this is my ice roller, which again is in my Amazon favorites. Two more products that were in my Amazon favorites are this fuzzy carpet, fox fur. I love this carpet so much. It's just super cozy and I just prefer stepping onto a carpet when I wake up rather than the hardwood floor. And it was the perfect length. It fits next to my bed perfectly. It's five feet by 2.3 feet. And then I keep my little fuzzy slippers here. Here is my actual bed setup. So I got this um, bed frame or like the headboard from Walmart. And then obviously I have a ton of pillows. I love sleeping with a body pillow. And I will try to link all these things in the description box. My whole bed, like, comforter and all this stuff is from Bed Bath & Beyond. And then in this corner on the other side of the room, it's actually just really nice and open. So when I film videos, I film in this corner just because the sunlight from the window is, like, directly on me. And then this space is just also open for if I, like, want to work out over there. Then one more door on my wall here. This leads into my bathroom. So walking into my bathroom that connects to my room. So first of all, since I have the master bedroom, um, I have the bedroom attached. I mean, sorry, the bathroom attached. And as you can tell, I got like a double sink type of vanity with two huge mirrors. And then again, I really like the light fixtures in here. So I did take advantage of the extra space. So on this side, I put tissues and like lotions. And then in the center here, I went ahead and just put my bath bombs and bath salts and stuff like that just to kind of make it feel more like a little spa. And then on the other vanity on this side, I keep this little makeup organizer full of all the makeup I use frequently along with my brushes in this cute cup. So both of these were from Target. Once again, I will try to link them down below. But again, I really like how the counter is just simple and white. And then again, it has that matching dark wood. So believe it or not, I was able to completely fill all these cabinets for myself. So the bottom two, I just organized all of my towels. And then the top here, this is like the stuff I use most frequently, like daily. So oh, my little string is here. So I have my hair products on this side. The Q-tips and cotton balls are just in this cute connected container. I have contacts, deodorant, stuff like that. And then over on the other side, I have all my skincare products. So clearly I am stocked up on my very favorite skincare, which is Tula. And then I have just like toothbrush, toothpaste, all that good stuff. Then on the other side up here, this one's just like way less organized. I just have extras of everything. So extra cotton balls, extra shampoo, loofah, more mouthwash, eye drops, and my heat tool. So this one's kind of a mess, but I just store my extra stuff in here. 
Then on the floor here, first of all, I really like the tile, but then I also added these two mats um, and they're kind of like a memory foam mat. They're also supposed to absorb water for if you get out of the shower. Those are both from Target and I really like those. Then on this side, obviously we just have like the toilet. Um, over here, I keep my robe hanging. The shower curtain, I really like, just simple gray. I think I got that at Target as well, probably. And then, here's my shower. It has kind of like a matching tile to the floor, which is really pretty. Got my little bath pillow and then my soaps. And then what's really nice over here is I installed this little rack to hold my shampoos, conditioners, and my loofah and stuff like that. Then the very, very last door to the place is right here. <laughs> and that leads into my closet. But if I'm being quite honest, it is like a hot mess. I still didn't unpack a ton of the boxes. I have a lot of more clothes and just a ton of stuff to go through. I literally call it the dungeon. So I'm not even gonna bother showing you guys. It's just like a big, big walk-in closet. If I can find um, a f like some footage of I just heard something. If I can find some footage of how it looks before I put all of my boxes in there, I'll insert that clip here so you can see it. But if not, just like trust me, it's you're not missing out on anything. <laughs> and then when you walk out of the bathroom, here is just an overview of what my bedroom looks like. All right, so I'm just sitting here by my desk now, but that is everything I have for you guys today. That concludes my apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new. I would love to have you as a subscriber. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you until next time. Bye.